congratulations to you, by the way. Uh, Thank you. Just, you just got married, like, yes. what was it, six weeks ago? Six weeks ago, hey, man. Hey, brand new newlywed. <laughs> Explain this to me here. Now, did you did you know you were gonna get married, or like, is it a plan? Because I know um, it was at City Hall. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm saying this because I did. I thought about it for about 30 seconds. No. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, it was a City Hall courthouse wedding. Um, and is we this all... what you always wanted to do? Um, no, I just I guess I didn't really know what I always wanted to do, which is maybe why it was so untraditional. I wore mustard yellow suit and a black hat, um, which was all part of my plan to not be noticed. <laughs> Well, I mean, if you're gonna, uh, really, no one noticed you? <laughs> I mean, that's... Well, everyone wore sweat, like, suits or sweatsuits, and my husband is good friends with the Fat Jew, Fat Jewish on Instagram, oh, yeah. and um, they went to high school together, they grew up together, and he wore a white jumpsuit, like, sweatsuit, so yeah. I was thinking that he would be the decoy. This is a nightmare. Thank God really you didn't really rob a bank. I mean, really. I mean, that <laughs> would really be it. Truly didn't work out quite as I'd imagined. But it's great being married. It's fantastic. Because now you, you don't have to ask anyone if they want to do stuff. They just have to do it. It's so, it's just, so yeah, true. I mean, yeah, By the you, way, six weeks in, already learned that. Right, exactly. Incredible. And it's a good excuse to get out of things. Oh, like, totally. I would love to, but my husband's got oh this thing. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. I actually didn't use that one yet. Oh, get ready. That's, That's really be Thanks for the tips. No man. problem, man. Married life. Uh, it's fantastic. And then you have kids, more excuses. It's great. Yeah, it's the best. Like, oh, the kids? Yeah, I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just have he, kids to, to, to have just excuses. Just for the excuse, yeah, okay. to not do things. Cool. Yeah, um, Noted. <laughs> how, did he, uh, how did he propose? Can you tell me that? He uh, proposed to me at Mineta Tavern and he didn't have a ring so I was like mm, no <laughs> and then and then he took the uh, paper clip that the bill was paid with and made me a ring which I actually thought was really romantic um, cute. and then we made our actual rings um, you made them yeah so he we're both interesting little humans is what I would say okay. um, and you do need 24 hours before you have to go down to City Hall and get your license because they don't want you to do the Vegas thing like you have to think about it for 24 hours <laughs> I think yes. that's why so like, uh, sober up and call us back okay yes, no, yeah a hundred percent a hundred percent so uh, then we walked into Chinatown and bought like a little piece of an ounce of gold and he was like We'll melt down the gold and make the rings. Wait, wait, what happened? What? What do you have to do with gold? How do you turn it into right. a ring? Right, so I was like, I just don't see us melting down gold. Like, that just seems kind of difficult. Um, but <laughs> I mean, then... Kind of, yeah. He, he ended up going to some store in Midtown and met this nice man. This is the night before our wedding, by the way. Um, <laughs> you go from Chinatown and, to Midtown and you, like, smelt? And, uh, like, yes. make it... No, and this very nice Israeli man was like, I don't know, I know how to do that. Wow. So we came into his studio after hours and we like actually hammered them out the whole thing used a little blowtorch Yeah, and they were this. supposed to be temporary rings, but now I'm very attached and I, I really don't want to That's a beautiful get rid ring. Of it. Yeah, and I just feel like making it yourself like could you it be more personal really so um, yeah That's what I did with my wife too <laughs> and made her own everything. It was so cool. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. Yeah, uh, congratulations story. to Thanks. you and uh, yeah, many, many, many years of uh, being married. Let's talk Thank about you. I Feel Pretty. Yeah. You, Amy Schumer. Come on, you can't be Amy Schumer. I mean, she's the best, honestly. Yeah. She's so great. Uh, what is the film about? So the movie um, is about a girl who deals with a lot of insecurities, um, isn't confident in herself, hits her head in a soul cycle accident, which, by the way, I can totally relate to. Those <laughs> things are scary. You have to what? strap your feet in and then... It's a bicycle. No, you're strapped in. It's scary. <laughs> what do you do? No, no, yeah, you, you want to get out of it. No, you have to click out. Or yeah, something. well, she does not click out. And she falls, and um, all of a sudden she sees herself as the most beautiful woman in the world, like the ideal, whatever your idea of beauty is. But she doesn't change at all. Um, she looks completely the same. So it's a pretty funny bit. Um, but the real, really amazing message is that, you know, it's all about confidence. It's all about how you see yourself, and the world will sort of follow. I like that. Good yeah. message. I want to show a clip. Here's Emily Ratajkowski and Amy Schumer in I Feel Pretty. Take a look. Are you okay? Yeah, just, um, sorry. Going through a rough breakup, so. Well, I bet guys can be pretty mean when you break up with them, right? Or when they break up with you for being a real freaking person. Wait, hang on. Uh, <laughs> the acoustics in here are, are weird. It sounds like you were saying you got dumped. Someone said to you, I don't want to see you anymore ever again. I don't want to have sex with you again. Somebody told you, you got dumped? Did you stop saying dumped? Of course, yeah. I'm sorry. I, uh, I just assumed that she wouldn't have to deal with stuff like that. Oh, I, what? Because of my body or, or something like, like 
Your body, your whole head. Do you have every rib that I have? <laughs> <laughs> Emily Ratajkowski, everybody. Uh, uh -huh. On and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on and on and on.